Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya. For you, those of you that are new, I'm reviewing one of Motown Tress's new wigs. They have this premium collection. I have the style Love in the color too. Ebony Lime was kind enough to send this over to me to try. So this has HD invisible lace and it comes with a 13 by 6 lace frontal space and it has a faux scalp in there apparently. So we're going to try this out. See what it's looking like. Here is the stock card so you guys see what the style of the wig looks like. And then this is the other style they show. They show how you can style up the lace frontal. They show how the cap is made. They show the frontal space as well. It's heat safe. All the other colors that it's offered in as well. And then if you pull this top piece out it shows you the colors that this unit is also offered in. And then if you pull it out, it shows some of the other units that they have and a little bit of the color previews. So we're going to see if this unit is requiring any um, lace tint spray. Um, I'm usually not a huge fan of the faux scalps, but we're going to see how this works out today. I just think the faux scalps are... They just seem to be in the way to me, but you never know. We might be able to make it work. So this is what the unit looks like coming out of the pack. Pretty curls. Yes, I stuck with this regular, regular color because I just like my natural color unit. So you see what that full scalp looks like underneath there. The frontal space that you are getting to work with. It also has an elastic band attached in the inside. So let's see what we're working with. So the lace is actually pretty pretty tinted um, in person. I'm not sure if you guys can tell that on camera, but it does look to be tinted. It's definitely not as pale, but I'm still going to add just a little bit of my tint spray around the edges. Because my tint spray is just a little bit darker than the actual lace, even though it is tinted. I think this might end up needing to be plucked. I'm not double sure, but it seems like it just a little bit. This full scalp is not it, you guys. Do you see that peeking through? Let me see. Zoom in a little bit closer. So you see this? That's not my wig cap. That's literally the full scalp. I don't like that. I honestly wish that I could cut it out. It is sewn in, but I don't want to mess the wig up too much. So I'm going to leave it in there and just finesse it with my makeup. But I'm not a fan of the full scalp. Let's just put it that way. I don't like that. I'm going to wrap to a comb and I'm going to give myself a little bit of a side part. That cute? Mm, nope, I don't like that either. Maybe I should do it on this side. Let me do a little zoom out. I think I like it with it on this side. Why did they make this lace, this faux lace that visible? Do y'all see that? How light it is? That's not it. I'm gonna have to go over that with like some makeup or something to camouflage it because it's so darn bright. Do
Okay, now we're gonna work on cutting the lace off. I think I'm gonna install this wig completely glueless today. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, however, even though the faux, the faux scalp is a no, the lace is good because y'all see how well this literally blends into the skin. There's like no indentation of where the lace starts, which I appreciate. I am trying to thin out the hairline just a little bit more. Trust me, you guys, I was itching to put this wig in the middle, but I was like, let's try a side part today. But best believe, when you see this unit on me the next time, it will most likely be in the middle. So let me give you guys a 360 view. Okay guys, so I'm officially finished installing this Motown Tress unit. So, I have it, like I said, in the style Love and I have it in the color too. It comes in a bunch of other colors. It has the frontal space, it has an adjustable elastic comfort band in the back. And then it has the HD invisible faux, faux skin lace. And the inside um, and it says that it's a wider and deeper ball cap safe to use up to 400 degrees and the finishing length when stretched is 30 inches but I mean I feel like it's kind of falling at 30 already the only issue I have with this wig was that full skin scalp 
y'all I it just was like too visible for one thing it's showing I don't like that um, I just feel like it's very unnecessary it's not doing what it needs to do um, you can take your time and cut that out if you want to because it is just sewn on so you can just cut the little thread cut it out I did not because I wanted to see like how it was going to install with it like it was and I'm not a fan like I said um, other than that everything else about the wig is really nice um, I did say like I had to pluck it out some a little bit in the front, but I don't really feel like it made that much of a difference. So don't really think that's too necessary. I love that it's versatile, that you can style it multiple ways. Love the, the density of it. I love the curls, love the length. It's not too, too tangled. It's not shedding a lot. Like it's a still a really good, you know, batty wig to have in your, your collection because you get the inches, you get the pretty, pretty curls. Um, different ways to style the wig. I did install mine today completely glueless um, but you can you know secure it down if you need to. Big cut friendly. I have a lot of space back here. Next time I wear this unit I would definitely do um, the adjustable bands in the back to make it fit a little bit tighter because right now it's falling over my ears because um, it's just a little bit big and I can feel all the extra space in the back of the cap as well. But overall, what would I rate this wig? I would give it like a good 9 out of 10. It's really cute. You'll see me rocking this wig for sure a lot more online. Make sure you guys check out Ebony Live for the link to this unit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.